Hello guys, I'm Vivia, your old friend. Welcome to Haigong. Today, I would like to tell you something about motor. How our motors are made here and what is a good motor? A motor is a device that converts the electrical energy into mechanical energy. It uses energy coins that is better windings. This one. Use this one to generate a rotating magnetic field and act on the rotors for a cage close aluminum frame to form a magneto electrical power rotating part. In short, the working principle of a motor is the action of the magnetic field on the force of current to make the motor rotate. According to the current form, electric motors are divided into two categories brushed motors and brushless motors. The brush motor is mechanically commutated by carbon brushes and commutator. And the brush motor is electrically commutated by induction signal of a whole element released from the controller. So compared with brush motors, brush motors have a lower noise because there's no brush. So naturally the noise is reduced. According to the mechanical structure of motor assembly, it is generally divided into two categories, geared motor and gearless motor. So for the geared motor, since the rotate speed of the motor is fast, so it needs to be reduced by gears. For the gearless motor, uh, the torque outputs without any speed reduction. What we use is brushless gear motor. It's really heavy. They have a longer lifespan, uh, usually up to 20,000 hours, around 7 to 10 years of normal use. They have a reliable performance because their efficiency is much higher than that of bushed motors. But how a motor assemble? Let's take a look together. These are the components. Okay, till now, the assembly of the motor is complicated. Next is the test. What we need to test are speed, voltage, current, power, and if there's abnormal sound or leakage. First, let's turn on the equipment. Then, we put the motor on it. Then we twice the throttle. This is a DC power supply, which is just like uh, the battery of our electric bike. This is to confirm if there is a leakage, and this is to measure the speed. 
This number means that it has been rotated about 1,700 times one minute. This is a voltage and this is a current. It's about 1.25 ampere hour. As we all know that the power of a motor is crucial, but what determines the motor power? It is generally determined by magnetic wire diameter and the numbers of terms, the length, the height, silicon steel, and magnetic steel quantity, rotor size, voltage, and insulation class. Besides, in terms of quality, the copper wire commonly used in the market is 155 degree high temperature resistance and we use 180 degrees. It's not easy to degenerate and it's more durable. Insulating paper generally used in the market is the materials with 155 degree high temperature resistance and we use 180 degree. Its uh, insulation effect is much better and it's not easy to degenerate and it's more uh, durable of course. 1.53 mm motor wire is generally used in the market. Ours is 2 square millimeters. The thicker wire can carry the larger current and output the higher power. Silicon steel's materials generally have 300, 400, 470, 600, 820, and so on. 820 is the worst. We use the best material, 300, which has a bad magnetic performance. The magnetic steel market generally adopts the 90 degree temperature resistance and we use the 110 degree to 120 high temperature resistance. It's not easy to demagnetize. Okay, that's it for information about the motor. I hope today's introduction will help you have a better understanding of motor and how to choose a good motor. If you have any questions, please leave us a message. You can also follow our YouTube, Facebook or LinkedIn on which you will find many different kinds of interesting and practical videos. Thank you so much for your watching. See you next time.